Hey man, Diamond Stone TV, let the people know who I got in front of the camera today. Hey man, sweet Benny Ray, man. A lot of y'all might remember me uh, by Big Ben. Some of y'all know Miss Funky Town Fats. Yeah. Right, right, right. All that. Now, you know, I call myself, you know, the, the bishop, man, the bishop of the trap gospel, you know. But it's Sweet Benny Ray, man. Sweet Benny Ray. Okay, you said uh, back then, bro, uh, that's what they used to call you? Big Ben, yeah. Big Ben. B I G B E N, yeah. Okay. Okay, um, hey, so, so kind of give me a little rundown about yourself, man. Um, We did a little talking off camera, you know what I'm saying? Um, right. But but kind of give me a little rundown. Yeah, just give me a little rundown about yourself, far as music wise. Uh, and what era of time was you rapping in? Uh, I started rapping. Uh, recording. I started recording. You in, recording? In, I started recording in 1996. 1996. Yeah, that, I, I recorded my first song in 1996. A lot of y'all probably wouldn't even thought about it in 1996, right, right, right. but yeah, yeah. Okay, um, how, how did that go? Uh, really, man, <laughs> my first time I went in the studio, I was with, uh, it was me and about six other niggas. And we all had put our money together and got us like two hours of studio time. And, right. And we did one song. Yeah, that's how that went. <laughs> but, that, but that was my first time right. recording. On the microphone in in a in a real studio, right. 1996. 1996. Yeah. Right. So, um, was you, was you just like pushing and producing, or was you at that time? Was you getting? Into I mean, I always I always knew that I wanted to entertain. Like I I I started doing the talent shows and shit when I was like see I, I started performing when I was six years old. You know what I'm saying? So, and just from talent shows and doing little shit, I always knew that I wanted to. You know, pursue music or, or, or some entertainment. You know, whether right, it right. was acting or whatever. Like, you know, but that that was always my interest. You know what I'm saying? So, right. uh, when I had uh, when I had did that, uh, you know, yeah, that that was my first time ever going in the studio. And you know, at, from then on, I knew this is what I wanted to do. You know, I always was intrigued by music and entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Uh. I saw my. I went to a Michael Jackson concert when I was like. You went to a Michael Jackson. Yeah, I seen Michael Jackson twice live. Right. Yeah. Well, See, mind you, I, I, I was the only kid till I was 15 years old, so I was I was barred in the motherfucker. It was it, it was it was just me and my mama. So my mama would send me to concerts and shit like that. Where I, I had an older cousin and she used to take. This me. was this had to be like in in, what, in the 80s. This was the 80s. 80s. Yeah. yeah 80s. Mike, Michael Mike Jackson. Was the, he was black then. The victory tour. He was with, with 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 his brothers. He came out. You know his little brothers. They did they little numbers. Then he did his own little shit. But this was uh, I said it had to be eighty four, some some shit like that. You right. know what I'm saying? So, uh, I seen him in eighty four. Then I seen him again in ninety when he came for the bad tour. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I was I was fortunate enough to see Michael Jackson perform live twice, and to this day that's still the best concert I ever I ever you know what I'm saying hands down you know what I'm saying yeah yeah you've been to bet yeah for real that, that you said that had uh you said that kind of what like motivated you yeah yeah like, hell yeah you? man hell yeah I mean Michael Jackson man when you when you I mean you you had to be there it, I, it's it's like I can't even describe it you know what I'm saying like that shit was unreal like to see the shit that he do that that's that's why they call him the greatest entertainer ever cuz shit that nigga did shit that couldn't nobody else do on stage. Right, right. Okay. And uh, you know, just seeing shit like that, being exposed to shit like that, and like I said, Michael Jackson was the the biggest concert that we went to. But we went to several concerts, man. Like my my my, my cousin, she took me to like shit every damn near every concert that came. You know, from New Edition to the Fat Boys to. Shit, uh, everybody, you know what I'm saying, in vogue, nigga, right, I'm talking right. about shit that was, you know what I'm saying, that was popping at the time, whatever right. was popping, the, they uh, used to have the Budweiser Superfest, I don't know if you remember that, but they used to have about 20 acts, nigga, and I remember one time we went to uh, the Budweiser Superfest, it was uh, MC Hammer, High Five, man, Tony Tony, this is a bunch of motherfuckers, right, a bunch of motherfuckers. talking about nigga, that concert was over about 4 in the morning, you know, it was so many acts, you know what I'm Damn. saying. Yeah. yeah, but but as a kid, you know, just being able to experience shit like that and 
Right. And you know, it was just, you know, it was cool. Yeah. And like, like I said, I was the, I, I was the only child till I was 15. So my mama, you know, she was, you know, I, I was, you know, my mama was a single parent. So it was just like, you know, it was just me and her. So like I said, she just, just fine, you know, just keep me doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was little league football or whatever it was, you know, going on, going to concerts, she just kept me doing something. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Okay. And so, um, so, so tell me, what, what side of town did you grow up on? I grew up in Forest Hill. Forest Hill? Yeah, Forest Hill, but, uh, I had South Side ties, you know, because my grandmother, uh, stayed on Bells Eye Terrace, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, elementary, middle school, I went to sc on the South Side, you know what I'm saying? But you know how you be over there all day, then you come home at night, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but Forest Hill is... The hood I grew up in, you know what I'm saying? Right. But like I said, I was I was I was mainly in the south side all day, then I come over here at night, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, so so kinda of tell me, cause you you is the first person, <clears throat> like you the first artist I can interview that's from Forest Hill, you know what I'm saying? Right. So right. like kinda of tell me like how was it like growing up over here? I mean, Forest Hill, it, 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 it was, Forest Hill, like, I think a lot of people got a misconception about Forest Hill because, you know, people kept their yards cut and, and you know, like, it was brick houses and shit, but, you know, it's a lot of shit, it's a lot of shit that went on in Forest Hill just because niggas, niggas was, was knowing that niggas already didn't think it was nothing going on, so niggas kept something going on, you know what I'm saying? And, right. And I don't care what side of town for, for you from, you done had to come to Forest Hill to get something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't give a damn where you from, nigga, you done came to Forest Hill and got something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's something to smoke, something whatever, something, you know, you done fuck with some hoes, you done did something in Forest Hill, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. And, 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 you know, it's, it's a lot of... It's 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 a, it's a, it's 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 a lot of uh niggas that's under the radar that came out of fo out of Forest Hill that 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 really done did some big things you know what I'm saying right right yeah okay. <clears throat>